Welcome back to JB Reviews. I have two Ford Super Duty trimmers. One's a Platinum, one's a Lariat. Now, this is a mistake that people make all the time, and this is the perfect example of what not to do when ordering your truck. I'm here at Larry H. Miller, and when I say they have a ton of trimmer inventory, be sure to check them out. Ask for Diego. I know they're discounting these trucks too, by the way, which is a good thing, right? Now let's get back to the video. Let's talk about this huge mistake on this Ford Lariat. You guys see here, base price is gonna be $64,740. Now that's why most people are going to choose a Lariat because Hey, you're looking for the most bang for the buck. You want leather seats. A lot of things come standard. Lariat is the trim. That used to be the top trim at one point, right? And we look at a base price of a Platinum. Well, it's $77,865. Now, both of those base prices do not include destination. And they both come standard with the gas 7.3 engine. So if you want that diesel, especially in a trimmer, you have to get the high output, which is like over $12,000. Majority rules. Most people buying trucks today, they want that monochromatic look. They don't want chrome bumpers, chrome mirrors and door handles. They want that painted front bumper, which this truck has. It also has painted door handles and out back painted bumpers, right? And that's what most people want. They want everything to be painted. If you're looking at a Lariat, it does come standard with chrome bumper. So if you did not choose to get this black appearance package, well, you're gonna get chrome bumpers, chrome grill. And when you look at the Platinum, the Platinum has painted bumpers standard. Now, you might look at this grill and think it's chrome, but it's actually not a chrome finish. It's actually a satin finish. So it has a better look when you compare it to actual chrome like this or this. And it doesn't just stop there. You also get more of that trimming around the fog lights. It looks a little bit more upscale, right? And I don't know if you guys notice, on that Lariat, it had reflective style headlights. On the Platinum, it has the projector style headlights. Both trucks don't have full LED nonetheless. When walking down the side of the trucks, you guys will see both trucks are gonna have the same wheel and tire setup because of that trimmer package. But if you wanna get the power deployable running boards on the Lariat, that is available if you skip this black appearance package. Now on the Platinum, they come standard. But you are gonna to have to deal with more chrome on the truck. Now on this Lariat with the black appearance, you have all this blacked out. This comes standard for 2024 blacked out. More chrome on the Platinum. Same thing goes on the door handles. You guys already saw these. Smart key system comes standard on both sides. They do give you the steps. By the way, this truck just has a lot of options, which I'll show you here in a second. But you have these steps on both sides. And, oh yeah, when you get the black appearance, you do get the wheel wheel liners too. They come standard on the Platinum. Now, as far as the running boards go, someone optioned this truck with the high clearance stuff, which I prefer actually over the power to pull the running boards on an off-road truck. On the Lariat, if you want the power to pull a running board, you would have to opt for it and it costs more money. And I don't think you can get it in conjunction with the black appearance package. Okay. Now out back, you guys will see parking sensors, class five hitch. And I mean, this is a nice truck. You have more blackout on the badging in the rear. You have the backup cameras. So it's gonna have 360 camera view, but you don't have the full LED tail lights, right? Like on this Platinum. Also on the Platinum, you have the sonar and that backup camera standard. Also, you see right there, 2000 watts of power comes standard in the bed. Now you cannot get the sonar and the backup camera on top of the tailgate. And you guys saw the applique. That's a hit or miss for some people. That's a lot of brightness on the back of the truck, right? And also you don't have the full LED tail lights and that 2,000 watts of power is an option. Now, if you wanna put the tailgate back up, your lazy butt gonna to have to lift it. On the Platinum, 
you can drop it down like so I'm putting it back up easy oh but it gets worse I think that the platinum interior is very very unique I love the caramel color I know some people probably wouldn't like it you have tilt headrests even the center console looks better you also have heads-up display standard these screens are gonna come standard and this truck does have the massagers for the front seats here is the Lariat and make no mistake about it this is a very nice interior this truck also has the max recline seats which is an option on the Platinum 2 I always recommend it and yeah you don't have the massaging front seats however and this interior though it is nice it is dressed down but you still have three seat memories you have all the power power folded mirrors power steering column power pedals and you have the same screens however that heads-up display is an option and you guys see that roof you guys notice anything different about the color of the interior and the roof color anybody here's that platinum you have the black headliner now I will say if you get a lariat with the Carmel interior it's like a black and tan interior it does give you a black liner for the lariat but it comes standard on the platinum so I think you guys are kind of getting my drift here if you're gonna order a truck make sure you do side-by-side -side comparisons of pricing for the trim levels on this platinum you guys will see here are all the options so it's twenty thousand dollars worth of options now the diesels included in there you can always deduct that because the diesel is going to add value long term on this truck and total price is ninety nine thousand eight hundred and forty five dollars now here's the problem with this lariat it has every single option somebody was so trigger happy that when the dealer says do you want leather seats or cloth seats they just said yes didn't matter they wanted everything now i'm being a little facetious here because this truck has a tonneau cover it has all these steps and i may have to do a separate video on this truck because there's just so many options on it that is worth showing you because it literally has every option you can get on a lariat i don't think that they skipped anything on this truck like literally every option so many options Thirty-three thousand eight hundred and seventy dollars worth of options on this truck guys this truck in options costs the same as probably this right here Th oh thirty-eight thousand seven thirty-eight but listen or seven thirty-five this truck in options costs as much as a freaking car that is insane and like i just showed you guys you still miss out on a lot of nice features now if you gotta have the blackout you don't want any chrome on your truck you do know you can order the trim pieces from ford and black out most of this trimming mirror caps that's easy all this can be switched out for black and you probably will still come in a lot cheaper when you consider this package here black appearance for four thousand two hundred and ninety five dollars that's a lot of money and remember with the black appearance if you don't get the trimmer package you get the 20 inch black wheels well they don't do anything different on the wheels on this package so in my humble opinion a hundred thousand dollar truck here i would just go ahead and get the platinum even if you wanted a tunnel cover and the steps and a few other things that this truck doesn't have you're still going to probably be about three or four grand higher maybe 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 that much higher but if you're spending a hundred thousand dollars what's another five grand at this price point i'm just being honest here what's another five thousand dollars now if this truck was ten grand more then that's a harder price to justify but these trucks are literally the exact same price so my humble opinion is if you're going to add a bunch of options to your truck and be at a hundred thousand dollars you might as well just go ahead and get a platinum it makes no sense in my opinion to do this and i don't know why guys just don't step up to the next trim level when they add all these features like for example the ultimate package on this truck i feel as though that's a lot of money especially with the black appearance if you want painted bumpers and you want the ultimate package because that gives you the heads-up display gives you the front parking sensors i believe gives you the upgraded bno sound system a lot of things come apart of that package something as small as this 
comes a part of the ultimate package. All those things come standard on the Platinum. And as you guys just saw, there's quite a bit of features on that Platinum that you still cannot get on this Lariat and it costs about the same amount of money. So my humble opinion is if you're gonna build a truck from the factory, take your time, like build multiple trim levels. Don't just assume because this truck is a lot cheaper that you're gonna still remain cheaper because you have to add so many features to it which are jumbled into packages. I mean, that's how the manufacturers make money. When you guys get mad about pricing, well, this is kind of ludicrous in my opinion. Why, why add all these options to this lower trim level when the higher trim level has most of that stuff standard and some? So I hope this video was helpful. If I have a chance, if this truck is still here, I'll do a separate video on this one because this is, this is a very, 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 very respect out truck. And I wanna go through most of these features on here if it's still here if it's not here and unfortunately i probably shouldn't be telling you this because i don't have time to do it today but 100 look at all these options someone was trigger happy building this truck <laughs> and it continues on this side but yeah ninety eight thousand dollars versus a ninety nine thousand dollar truck it's a no-brainer for me but be sure to subscribe to your channel as i said both of these trucks are available and the good news is they're discounting whereas just this time last year you could not even get a discount on most of these trucks so Hope you guys liked the video. Be sure to share it if you found it helpful. See you guys soon.